Tonight, the FBI is investigating a fire at a mosque in Southern California. It happened about 75 miles from San Bernardino, the scene of the terror attack last week. Officials at the mosque, the Islamic Center of Palm Springs, believe the fire was intentional. John Blackstone has the latest. John? Scott, officials at the mosque claim that a firebomb was thrown into the lobby around noon today with at least three people inside. Law enforcement officials have not yet confirmed that it was a firebomb. After firefighters responded, about two dozen people gathered across the road from the mosque to pray. Just over a year ago, at least five shots were fired into this same mosque. That was treated as a hate crime, but that was never resolved. Here in San Bernardino, CBS News has just learned that the cell phones used by the mass shooters, Saeed Farouk and Tashfeen Malik, did use encryption technology, and FBI is now trying to unlock that. And here, FBI divers are still searching for more clues. Two divers at a time spent most of the day in the murky waters of Seccombe Lake, emerging from time to time with items they found in the bottom. But so far, there's no indication they've located anything linked to Syed Farouk and his wife, Tashfeen Malik. The couple was reportedly seen near the lake around the time of the shooting. The FBI has four dive teams. The Sheriff's Department also has a, dives team, a dive team. That's exactly what these people do. They're specialists in underwater evidence retrieval. At the lake's deepest point, they are under eight feet of water. Visibility is so poor, they are searching mostly by hand. We think this, this search will last for days. Uh, it's very possible. Investigators are also now looking at a possible link between Farouk and a convicted terrorist recruiter, Sohil Omar Kabir, a naturalized American citizen now serving 25 years in federal prison for recruiting three men from the San Bernardino region to travel to Afghanistan to attack American troops there. Divers have been using metal detectors in their search at the bottom of this lake. Scott, we've seen them concentrating on an area close to this footbridge. John Blackstone reporting tonight. John, thank you very much.